Okay, recording is go. And, oh, I could just check how long it recorded for. Smirt. What is the name of this wonder? This is called the Miskatonic. A story where a stalker tries to kidnap the Dunwich Horror Loli. Who wouldn't want to kidnap the Dunwich Horror Loli? <laughs> Essentially, instead of Lizzie's insanity-inducing troop form, your brain is protecting you by showing a shadow instead. A cute shadow in a jacket. But I saw that interview or no problem the guys whose face is just teeth and gums and the girl with the hand sticking out of her head and Emily the librarian yep Lizzie and her Dunichian sisters are in a league of their own when it comes to horrific appearances we sent a lot of students to the asylum trying to figure her own her her own her out her own trying to figure we, we sent a lot of students to the asylum trying to figure her own. Hey! Hey, it's Bjork's insurance. Blork's insurance. Huh. I thought, I thought that went out of business years ago. That is awesome! Yes. <laughs> Same people, or her species, her and her sisters. Yeah, maybe. Here's our head of catering, Miss Mrs. Mrs. Roth. She can cook anything with three or more legs. Does that mean she's using three or more legs to cook with, or that she as utensils, or connected to her body, or that the, she's cooking things that have three or more legs? So no chickens. Yum. Ha. Oh, look at you witches, all skin and bones. I don't know where this voice came from, but I'm running with it. You just let one of my little gremlins know what fills your tum and I'll whip it right up. Cook things with three or more legs. She, she is not, she is allowed to cook things with three or more legs. Hi, baby. Bye, baby. I love you. God, how am I going to keep track of all of these, of all of these voices, man? Fuck it, you're getting the same accent. What's the humanitarian dish for today? Dave from accounting, my dearest. Oh, pork sandwiches. Lummy, lummy, lum. Hey, thanks for hosting, uh, Core. How you doing? Things are strained here. We employ a small staff of cannibals from England. <laughs> God, I forgot. All of the English are cannibals. Yeah, it's been a long while. Eddie in the Comporium and Anne being two of them, they only eat fresh accidental deaths with the family's consent. Usually. Oh, I get it. Humanitarian. It's funny. Well, once you're done with Johnny's little tour, let me know and I'll make you breakfast. <clears throat> I'll make you breakfast. You're making her into breakfast? Let me have the ice portion. We're well, <laughs> making steak and kidney pie. Good old witch rump. <laughs> How have I been? Life's been pretty rough the last few months, uh, specifically this last month, but I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm just, I saw this game and needed to play it, man. But thanks for asking. You ain't eating no rump steak, Annie. You little horrid, you little horde's got a poor old Dave. Oh, come on. Let's, this, there's the twins. I can't get this over. Actually, they kind of look like twins. Come on. At least let me have your ugly feet, uh, nice and lean, covered in flavor, and entirely useless. Look at them, all the way down there. Hope things get better. They are slowly getting better. Thank you. Um, when I'm done with them, 
Great! Let me get a little appetizer, eh? A little lick between your toesies? Pre-brunch snacklet? How about it? Don't encourage her, dear. She'll be crawling all over me till your feet are falling off. Annie is Welsh? I don't... Yes? I'm... Hmm. I didn't realize I would have trouble with all these accents. Oh, my bad. Speaking of cannibals... Good morning, Miss Katonic. It's your favorite morning announcer, Mindy in the morning, bringing you all the Miss Katonic morning announcements. And as and when I see fit, it's currently 2.30 in the afternoon, so let's get started. Those of you students ha that have volunteered for the submerged Necronomicon mutation testing that has unfortunately been called off by Professor Baxter on the grounds that the school's swimming pool is now alive. Lunch today will be turgid and depressing. And would the owner of the a white child please report to the reception office? It is currently being towed. What was that? That's, um, that's Mindy, the morning announcer. <laughs> I feel like this is someone's answer to Monster High. If this were Monster High, Monster High would be a thousand, a thousand times better than it already is. Which is, like, not a lot. Does she do that a lot? Perpetually. <laughs> you seem pretty comfortable around this stuff, Charlotte. Oh, I grew up in Maine. You can tell as my accent. Not as many not as many mutated folk, but they make up for it with all the goofy supernatural happenings. Hey, Johnny. There's a there's has been looking for you. I'm gonna assume that's what that sounds like. Also, handy. Thanks, Chasm. Come on, Charlotte. I gotta make a quick stop off. What happened to her? Oh, that's Chasm, one of our portal driver, diver teams. They usually work out of Dunwich. Come back to write reports on their expeditions. He totally looks like a Chasm. Yeah, she. It's a she. You can tell. Don't assume her gender. <laughs> when they come back, of course. So, let me make a quick stop and I'll show you to your room. <laughs> that would be thirst. Ah, Johnny. So this is the strange girl. The crumbler. The ruiner. Wow, look at this guy. I like how your coat melts into the floor. Y uh, yep. This, uh, this is her, Charlotte. This is Dr. Thirst Valentine. The head of the occult science and the discoverer of residential evil. His work taught the university about the lingering nature of documenting malicious entities. And someone can see the future. Someone can totally see the future. Essentially, he figured out why seeing in... Oh boy, let me see if I can get this seemingly... Ah, innocuous, okay. He figured out why seemingly innocuous writings can summon horrific creatures or cast terrible curses. How am I going to keep track of all of these accents when I stop playing this game? This is why the books bleed. That's cool. I had a book that kept growing teeth and screaming and whatnot. It was my diary, though. Excellent. I shall inform my colleagues of your arrival. We will merrily indulge in the popcorn. Ta-ta! I like him. <laughs> you know, you've come highly recommended, Charlotte. Oh, yeah? By who? <laughs> Charlotte! I can't believe you're f they finally hired my tiny baby monster! Realme, what are you doing here? Got me a 
gainful employment teaching kids about old school dark magic. None of this is called science in my class. What have they got you teaching? Oh, you know, I'm in security, keeping folks safe, wandering the halls, swinging the comically large keychain, bopping folks on the head with a flashlight, top secret missions, stuff like that. Pretty on point hiring selection, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, safety. That's definitely a key word when I think of Charlotte Lestrange and her magical eyeballs. <laughs> Someone can see the future. Hey, those cats turned inside out on their own. I sneezed. Hush your gums. Well, speaking of cosmic abominations, I've got to go teach a bunch of 18-year-olds how to turn blood into peanut butter by dancing in the rain. Oh, I like her. You're going to love it here, Charlotte. The Miskatonic's just one big like-minded community, all working towards making the world a better place, just like our coven. A better place. A more complete place. A place where everybody's part of the same organism, connected to the ground via tissue and sinew. Mm. <laughs> Come find me when you've got some time off. There was nothing cosmic about him, Rumi. They were just cats and <laughs> with their bones on the outside. They got better. <laughs> so, you two are in some kind of cult? Sort of. We're witch cultists of Shub Nigroth. I... I feel uncomfortable saying that word, but, I mean, she is the goddess of love and, unfortunately, lots of love and, like, thousands of young and goats and trees. Essentially, we believe that since the universe is filled with crazy, awful bullshit, that humans should be nice and loving to each other. Some of us, like the cult of the Black Sun, have these awesome bake sales for their neighborhoods, whereas others, like the cult of loveliness, Hunt and slaughter encroaching monsters to protect their hometowns. We're sort of like goth girl scouts. <laughs> what about you witches? We take all our clothes off and dance in the rain. Typical witchy stuff, but we get use black magic to do nice things for the town folk. Like turn cats inside out. Sorry. Oh, God, that was a burp mixed in with that. That shifted over to thirst there. Body snatch and breach birth babies to make them crawl out of their moms. Some fixer pixers, fixer pixies when the guy's leg falls off. Using transmutational circles as a portal for when the trash collectors want a week off. Stuff like that. Wait a minute. The cult of the black sun do bake sales? And the cult of loveliness are monster hunters? What is the cult of kill, murder, death, plant gardens or something? Oh, you mean the cult of fetid retribution. No, no, those guys deliver meals to old ladies. And what was that about magic eyes? Oh, don't worry about that. I just do this. <laughs> ah. <sighs> and sometimes weird stuff happens in people's minds. Usually, they forget something or get an eye twitch. So long as I don't use it on little animals, it's pretty harmless. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. <laughs> this is your room. A little tight, but the lunch ladies bring us security guys breakfast all every day. I'll get you started, then you can explore your patrol route until Bob gives you your first assignment. It's perfect. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> okay, I better go familiarize myself with the patrol route. Hello again. It's time for a quick tutorial, we? Oui? You're about to enter what's called patrol mode, wherein you're allowed to freely investigate the occult science building. Oh, cool. 
Use your mouse and click Charlotte to innate conversations or initiate conversations or doorways to move to other places in the building. The Charlotte patrols will always start here, outside her room. If you want to save the game, hit the little cog at the bottom right of the screen. Give it a try. And don't forget to visit me in the corporeum, we. Oui? Okay, well, let's start by saving. Staff dormitories, please report all beverages, spillages, corpses, interdimensional tears, and on... Add uh, unattained, uh, un unattended viscera to members of janitorial staff. They are all approved, trained in sanitation, body disposal, quantum physics, and mild voodoo. Safe. First slot. Tanicles. Cool. Hey, there's... What's her face? What? 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 What, what is that? Is that hit girl? Tails, and crab arm, and something else arm. Uh, so, uh, all right. First one to tell me which person to approach uh, gets the first call on who I approach. Well, I... Oh, I can't just walk around. It's just... Yeah, I guess that's my my room, maybe? Uh, whatever you guys... Want me to click on first? Just saying. I'm waiting for the... What the fuck? Like, that's the weird part right there. Because it looks like she's wearing a mask. One. The, the hit girl. Okay. Oh, it's Nutty Annie. Hello, Spooky. How's your feet? Why, why the fascination with my feet, Annie? Surely the juiciest stuff for cannibals is like the brain or whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't eat brains, my lovely. Eating brains gives you the shiggies. Shiggles. Sh shiggles. Shiggles. <laughs> shiggles. What are the shiggles? Shiggles and giggles. An English disease which makes makes you shiver and laugh uncontrollably while you lose control of the, your body. Then you die. Had a friend who had it back home. Significantly less hilarious than it sounds. That sucks, man. I mean, ma'am. I mean, you. Yep, and now I'm all inconsolable. And the only way to cheer me up is to give me a bite of your giant bum. Damn it, Annie. You almost had me feeling like you weren't a complete ass. I'd like to take a bite of your complete ass. <laughs> I won't need the complete ass. Oh, I made the joke before that. Just a, just a half a cheek at most. Okay, that was pretty clever. I'm here all week. This this is fun. Okay, I gotta know what's up with your arms. Anika Silverstein. Ah, the new security guard. Anika Silverstein, Alien Theology. Caleb Wakenshaw, pun enthusiast. <laughs> Charlotte Lestrange, badass witch cop. So, what happened to the last security guy? Aren't they sick retirement adventures? What? Are they on sick retirement adventures? Are they on sick retirement? Not, are they sick on retirement in an adventure, but are they on sick at time? Last I heard, he landed in Aruba. The rest of him landed in Cancun. <laughs> oh, we're starting the bone pile already? All right. Am I too loud? I see my, my voice going into the red constantly. Yes, quite tragic. Entire occult science building exploded, leaving only a crater, oddly, filled with in, <coughs> in the dention of the face of the workers and students who were in there. That was before our time, of course. Not at all? Okay, good. I like your... I like your... Hands? Since we're alive and whatnot. Huh. But... 
there's like protections from that happening again, right? Oh, yes. They put up a sneeze guard in. Exactly. Blah. Right. Well. <laughs> okay, we got to check on our friend. So, I'm subbing for a class for one of the astronomy, uh, astronomy guys, right? And substituting means it's time to watch a documentary in the lecture hall. And everyone's watching this thing, and it's like the closest star to our solar system is about 4.5 light years away, and you thought you felt lonely. This is a complete mix-up of accents. I've already missed the accents. I don't remember who's was who. And I'm like, why would you assume that? Why would you assume about literally every person who watches this thing? I grew up in a coven surrounded by spell-slinging psycho bitches and now working in a university. I salivate at the concept of loneliness. I wonder if they'll say that in the nature documentaries too, trying to make some weird animals relatable. Heh. Wait, was that, was that Charlotte who just said that? Crap, I'm missing everything. Yeah, and you thought you sprayed pungent urine and attacked predator <laughs> at attacking predators. And you thought you had projectile tongue that was sticky at the end of it so that you could catch cute bugs. And you thought you had foreheaded a foreheaded penis. What the F has a foreheaded penis? Echidnas. <laughs> Maybe girl echidnas are into the whole Eldritch horror kink. Guys, echidnas gotta step up their game and turn that <laughs> and turn their peens into horrific nightmares. <laughs> I have no argument for that. Can I talk to her again? Does she just say the same thing? Because that was the best. No, it's just the same thing. God, we need a skip button. We need a skip button. Was this done in RenP? It's it comes in automatically. Uh, that just leaves like two other groups of people. I want to do Lizard Girl. Did you know before it was completely abandoned, Innsmouth desperately tried to become a tourist town, tried to focus on aquatic circuses, gift shops, and freak shows featuring leftover deep ones. I happen to be named Most Attractive Deep One Hybrid every weekly contest. Huh. I'm sorry, I got I got caught up in Mandrabot's thing where Blue just won a uh, thousand and some odd bones. You don't look like a deep one. That's probably why I keep winning. Ouch. And finally, these this duo. Nico Day. Let's see what can be. You're a new security girl, right? I'm Nico Day, archivist of Occult Science Building. Feel free to tell me your deepest and darkest. Um, okay. I left school when I was nine to become a witch, and I quietly hoped that schools didn't teach people anything important past that time. Interesting. They do, by the way, quite a bit. Oh. Well, shit. Don't listen to him. If you can count and spell, everything else is optional. Roger Cavadash, Chief Medical Officer. Oh, oh no. No, I'm doing the wrong I'm doing the wrong voice for this guy. But I can't do a I can't do a McCoy voice. I don't actually I need to just practice doing voices. Which mouth does he speak out of? The neck one. Obviously. <laughs> it's a necklace. And what does that tell you? What does that tell you? You can do more than count and spell, right, doctors? Well, a few things. Bringing people back from the brink of terrible behemoth, behemetic death, creating vaccines for supernatural diseases. Have you ever seen a prosthetic tentacle? 
Don't get him started on his damn prosthetic tentacles. Any more little nuggets of security, Charlotte? Um, okay, here's a fine one. People think that I cock, that I cock my hips all the time because a shub nigger of the witch coven thing, when really it's because I'm secretly proud of my butt. It's a good butt. Rest of me sucks, but it's a damn good butt. On behalf of the, on behalf of the cannibals, thank you for sharing it with the world. You're welcome. <laughs> oh God! All right, we're gonna let's let's put in a cut here for the YouTubes. <laughs> Give me a second to stand up, stretch my legs. <laughs>